Wild. Uh, Wild here. And today we're gonna make a player, uh, which we're just gonna move left and right. Um, so yeah, first of all, uh, you need an image of a player. Um, I just made a simple one. Uh, let me show it to you. Make sure you can see this. Um, it's just a spaceship because we're making a spaceship. Uh, kind of space we made this game. Um, so yeah, once you got that, place in your assets folder. And um, let's load it in. First of all, what you want to do is uh, game the load image uh, player. That's the ID, and then the location is just going to be player dot png. Make sure it's a dot png. Um, all right, so we got that picture loaded in. Um, next, uh, what we want to do is actually load them in the game. Actually, so show him on the screen. Um, so let's make a variable to store a player in so variable player and then in our create function we just want to do um, player so equals game dot add dot sprite game dot wall dot center x so we'll put him in the center of the screen uh, center y um, minus um, how much I actually want to add because we want him a bit below the screen uh, 200 seems like a good number uh, and um, the ID player great um, now we want to add physics to the player so we can actually uh, move him and do things uh, with it um, so what we do is game.physics dot enable player so we're enabling on the player and then do phaser.physics okay in caps Let's save that um, let's make a new variable uh, okay now we need to uh, ask for input from the player and the way we're just going to do that is just uh, map keys and uh, checking if the player is pressing them and the way we do that is just make a variable Whoops. Uh, cursor Presses. I guess that that's a way in game dev terms of storing um, input. So you do curses equals game dot input a keyboard dot create cursor keys. That's gonna allow us to see if the player is pressing the um, arrow keys. So now. Um, because we've added physics, we can now do uh, things like we can set velocity to the player using body. So what we do is we we'll check it if the player is um, is uh, uh, pressing down the key. So we'll do we're accessing cursors and seeing if the left arrow is pressed and is down. Uh, that's all. Alright, so after you've done that, um, we just want to uh, set the velocity to the player uh, by doing player dot value dot velocity dot x. Um, and the reason we're doing x is because it's on the x axis, because we're going to do left to right only. Um, so the x is going to be um, minus 350 because we're going to the left. Uh, 350, yep. Um, minus. 350. <laughs> Sorry. Um, next, we want to check if he's uh, pressing right. So, curses the right that is down. Play the body the velocity. Dot x equals 350. And that should be it. And now let's uh, run. Hang on. What? Come on. Refresh. <laughs> it's being really slow for some reason. There you go. And now if you press this to right, you can see that he's not stopping when you're letting go. And that's the reason, because we're not setting um, the velocity to zero back once we released a okay. key so now um, why is things so slow 
Alright, anyway. Um, so, we want to update every frame, um, the velocity to be zero. Uh, so the way we do that is just set it every time. Um, that looks to zero. Oops, there you go. And that should make the player stop once we release a key. Let's see now. Yep, as you can see, our player is moving when we press the left arrow key and the right arrow key. We can't move up or down because we haven't set it up yet. And we won't. Because in games like Space Invaders, uh, the thing that we're trying to go for is Space Invaders, um, you don't. Uh, you can't go up or down. Well, yeah. But so that's pretty much it, really. Um, thanks for watching.